Okay, we are at the Taskstream uh, home site, and this is what you should be seeing, something like this. Um, we are going to go to the Lessons, Units, and Rubrics tab. Now, if you don't have that up there, it's probably because... So we can fix that real easy. You do have it. You just go to My Account, click on My Account, and scroll down to Subscription Preferences and make sure the Teaching Productivity Tool Pack is enabled. So once you click on that, everything should be fine. Go back to the home page and the Lessons and Units or Rubrics should pass up, uh, show up. You might need to refresh your uh, browser or log back in. Eventually, though, it will be there. So let's click on that, and we're going to go to Lesson Builder, and we're going to go to the lesson. Click on Go to the Lesson Builder, and I'm going to create a new lesson. You can see I've already got a couple down here that I've done before. I'm going to do this one on counting coins. So I'm going to call this counting. Whoop. Counting coins lesson. And I'm going to select the format, and the flo format you will select is Florida a and Lesson Plan. It's probably the only one you'll see. And I'm going to create new. And it will eventually go back to that into those titles. Now, we are actually in the Lesson Builder right now, and it's the FAMU College of Education Standard Lesson Plan Format. Your name should be next to the uh, name of the candidate. And you can see there's all these things on the left that we need to fill in to make this lesson plan. And it's a lot easier than you might think. So let's uh, just do some easy stuff to show you how easy it is to punch stuff in here. Course number is EME 2040. Save and close window. And there it is. It pops up. The course title is Intro to EdTech. Save and close window. Now the grade level and actually any stuff after this you need to explore and find a lesson plan that you like and it's going to have the information you need to design this lesson. Now up here I've already googled counting coins lesson plans and I've got a bunch of different lesson plans here that I can go to and that's what you're going to want to do. You're going to want to look around, check things out to design your lesson. The first one I, I click on, it's got a lot of stuff. It's got objectives, um, it's got exploratory activities, concept development activities, material resources and software, all these things, um, which is good, but it doesn't have everything we need. So we may, I may use this one for some things. I'm going to go back and check another one out. And this has a lot of good information on it. But it's not really a lesson plan. So might get might use some stuff out of there, I don't know. Drop sort and count. This has got a lot of good stuff. It's got our purpose or goal. It's got the duration. It's got good behavioral objectives, materials, instructional procedures assessment, school home connection. It's got a lot of good things in here that we can borrow. Now when you're writing a lesson it's okay to look at other people's stuff. In fact they put it up here for free for you to use. Okay. Um, this, happened, this is a really good one right here. and It says kindergarten to second grade. Okay. So I'm going to go back to task stream and the next thing in there is grade level. So I'm going to put in K 
kindergarten, first, second grades. Okay, this can work for any of these. You can see there they pop up. The title of the lesson, you can make that up yourself or go back to the drop, sort, and count if you want to. We'll name that drop, sort, and count. Save and close the windows. The goals, now that, that lesson plan had a purpose, and the purpose is the same thing as the goal. So we can just copy and paste all this right into our lesson. Okay, well, we might want to just say the goal of this lesson. Say that. So now we've got our goals in there. Now we're going to go to the Sunshine State Standards. And we have subject area, strand, standard, benchmark, and summary. Okay. Taskstream does a really great thing, and it'll pop up all these things at once. You don't have to do them all alone. I'll stand alone, and I'll show you what I mean right here. We're going to click on Next Generation Sunshine State Standards. We can see that if we click on this, we're seeing conceptual frames. Or we're not really seeing any standards we can use. So we're going to click on View State Standards. We're going to click on state of Florida or we can click on Florida itself either one and these are all the standards for the state of Florida and I happen to know the sunshine state standards are the fourth from the bottom that's what we want to click on now this is kind of a mathematics uh, lesson so I'm going to click on mathematics and go to the next level you can see subject mathematics and I'm gonna to go to second grade level and I'm gonna look at all these uh, supporting big ideas which are essentially um, the standard okay um, I don't see anything in here I like so I'm gonna go back to the grade. I'm going to go to grade one. Um, I don't see anything in there I like, so I'm going to go back and go to kindergarten. And the big idea number one could work for us. So I'm going to click on that. Um, and it comes up with the benchmarks. And I saw the number 1.2 solve problems include those involving sets by counting, uh, using cardinal order numbers by comparing and ordering and creating sets up to 20. That could work for us. So I'm going to click on that. And then I'm going to save and return the lesson. And you'll see that all this stuff is filled out. The uh, subject area is mathematics. The grade is K. The, the standard itself is represent, compare, and order whole numbers, join in separate sets, and the benchmark is there already for us. So we really don't need to fill any of this stuff out, these four, because it's all right there for us. Um, the summary, you can click on that and write something that uh, reflects on how this set of standards or set standard is going to help you with this lesson plan. Remember, we're doing this all through Chapter 3 and the uh, Dynamic Instructional Design DID model, okay? And inside Chapter 3 is also specific behavioral objectives. And remember, that's from Bloom's Taxonomy. And that's where we're looking for an adverb. The student will count 
coins. The students will arrange. The students will something, um, which is an adverb. Now, this lesson plan actually has it in there for us, which is really nice. So it says the learners will visually distinguish between a penny, nickel, dime, and quarter. The students will recite the value of a penny, recognize and sort coins, and add coins together to make a dollar. So all these, um, all these objectives will work. So I'm going to highlight them all and copy. Go back to my specific behavioral objectives. Whoop. And I'm going to paste those inside there. Click OK. And there I have my behavioral objectives. So we're almost halfway done with this thing. And it didn't take that much time. Okay. Now going back to the lesson plan, you can find all the list of materials, resources, equipment, pop it in there. Now preventative techniques, that just means what are you going to do to keep your students on task. And that's something you'll have to think about and you might be able to find it on the web. And there is some uh, talk about it in Chapter 3 for the uh, DID model. The interventive techniques are what are you going to do if students get out of hand? How are you going to get them back on task? The differentiated instructions for ELLs and differentiated instructions for ESE students is in Chapter 4 of your book. And accommodations for other learners is in your book. So you're going to have to do some looking in there to find out what you want to put in there for this lesson plan. Okay, not going to do that for you. Attention grabber. Again, these things are just how you want to do this. Now I might say for attention grabber, I might have them gra uh, count jelly beans first or something like that. That's going to grab their attention because they get to eat them when they're done. So, you know, I might put that in there. An introduction to the lesson. Again, we can go to the uh, lesson plan. Um, it pro this has an uh, introduction. It has all the step-by-step -step stuff. Let's go back to our task stream. Modeling and direct instruction. That again is in chapter three of your book. Critical thinking, questioning, guided practice. Again, the DID model. Independent or group work. That's up to you. I would say this would be group work. This particular lesson plan would be group work. Assessment. How are you going to know that these students have learned? What type of assessment are you going to give them? A quiz? Uh, demonstration or what? Again, you can look at all these lesson plans up here to find out what other people are doing okay this has worksheets books all types of stuff enrichment activities that one had a good enrichment activity um, that's the wrong one let's go down to drop sort and count bottom of that it had the school home connection so that would be a good enrichment activity that they can do okay let's go back to task stream and then the reflection now normally we reflect on what we've done okay in other words we've taught this lesson and then we're going to reflect on it we don't have that luxury of actually doing the lesson to do to have a reflection of that nature but we can reflect on what we've done in this lesson so write how you feel this is going to go how this is going to work and what you're going to do if you know something goes wrong um, how, and just really how you feel about it okay that should be enough to get you started and that's the end of this lesson good luck